Hi, look what I've got here on my table. These all are miniature motors. I'm using these motors in one of my experimental, uh, kind of experimental hobby project. And in that project, I needed such small motors. And I've got um, these from different sources like eBay, from local camera repairing shop, and uh, also taken out from my old mobile phones. These could be um, uh, brush, brushless stepper or a servo motor but the main requirement was to have small motors like these and um, uh, in this video I'm gonna show you how to uh, interface these motors with uh, your electronics how to test them and um, how to play with them and so that you can use with your electronics so let's have a close look you might have seen these motors at some point in your life as these are commonly found in mobile phones and other mobile devices to generate vibrations this is nothing but just a DC motor connected with an imbalanced load to its shaft and when applied some voltage across its terminals it generates vibrations. So you can apply 1 to 3 volts across its terminals and it will start rotating and thus uh, generating vibrations. And I found that these motors are of no use for me because these are First of all, these are not small enough. Secondly, there is no enough torque. Also, there is no encoder available of size as small as these motors are. So the next option I have are these stepper motors. Okay, so um, the size of the stator of this motor is, the diameter of it is six millimeters and the length is almost 5 mm almost 5 mm yeah these motors these motors are also of no use because there is a tab attached to the stator and i can't use in that project i have tried to remove this tab but i end up destroying four motors and with <laughs> no luck so so here is the final contender these are really small incredibly small and if you have a look at the length of the stator it is almost five millimeters yeah and diameter is like for 3.5 or 4 millimeters so this is really small motor let's have a quick look at the setup here the motor is connected directly to the GPIO pins of the microcontroller that is at Mega 328P. I'm not using any dedicated stepper driver as there is no need for fancy features here like micro stepping, decay mode, overcurrent protection or electrical braking. Current consumption of this motor should be really low. It, it should be under 10 milliamp so the GPIO should handle it. Uh, I'm using this external programmer. This is at Mel Eyes. Uh, they call it in circuit emulator. I'm using this to program the microcontroller as this is way faster than the one inbuilt in the Arduino board. It takes hardly one or two seconds depending on the code size while Arduino takes 10 to 20 seconds. If you open the Arduino's official website and search for stepper, you will land on this page. And here you will find a lot of stuff related to the stepper motors. You will find different stepper circuit configurations like unipolar and bipolar and you should visit and explore if you are not familiar to the stepper motors. Some functions are uh, given here which we are going to use in our test program like to initialize motor, to set the step size and to set the speed of the motor. We are going to use this code stepper one revolution in this code motor shaft is going to take one revolution to the clockwise direction and one revolution to the counterclockwise and will wait for some time before every rotation uh, here it is given as 500 milliseconds between every move it makes so the code is very neat and small here header file is included uh, then the step size of the motor is declared Generally, steppers motor step size is 200 or 400 steps, but in this case, uh, it should be a, a small number because the motor size is very small. Here, uh, motor's library is initialized. 
pin number 8 and 9 are connected to the one coil and pin number 10 and 11 are connected to the another one here the motor speed is given and it is set to 60 by default we will leave it as it is serial we don't need but i'm gonna leave it to as it is in the main loop we are rotating the shaft to clockwise and then a weight of 500 milliseconds then rotating to the counterclockwise and again a blocking period of 500 milliseconds and repeat so i'm gonna copy it build it program it and let's see what happens copy compile done and program select start program without debugging okay wow okay the revolutions are way too much and so does the speed so like i said before the step size is quite high in the code let's uh, change it to 50 and reduce the speed as well so that it becomes a bit visible okay build Mm -hmm. program here we go wow okay one two two and a little more so okay it's doing two and about half revolutions in one way so let's further reduce the size of the step to 25 and compile and program it okay this is a little over one revolution it should be 20 and speed could be a bit more uh, let's uh, let's check now perfect perfect wow perfect so finally the motor step size is 20 and this is because the size of the motor size of this motor is way too small to accommodate more than 20 poles wow nice <laughs> one more time let's increase the speed to 80 and let's see how it does mm -hmm. Nice.